What's going on guys? We're finna go into Walmart. We got a hundred dollars to spend. All right, Sam. Sam, say something. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see what they got here. You guys know usually they either have everything or they have nothing. And it looks, <laughs> it looks like nothing. All right, we got one Hypernova Blister. Okay, Mavens. Darkwing Blast. Okay, we might be doing that. Battle of Legends can find this somewhere a little cheaper. Amazing Defenders. No. Okay, not the best Walmart, but this is what we're gonna do. Two Maven sets. <laughs> the one random Photon Hypernova Blister. Seven Darkwing Blast Blisters. And two of these mystery boxes. Yeah, okay, so it's real dark out here, but yeah, we definitely overspent for like $20, $25, but it's okay. Hopefully we'll make some money back. So yeah, let's see if we can pull. Okay, so we're gonna Alright guys, we are back. Let's get into all this stuff. We have a bunch of packs open. I actually spent $125. So let's actually do the mystery packs first. Yeah, I kind of overspent. I did not try to. Ooh, we got the Dark Magician pin. Really nice. I did not get this one yet, so that's really nice. We got Flames of Destruction, and we got Dimensional Chaos. Hopefully, I can finally pull something insane in here, like a Ghost Fur or something. So that's going to be really cool. So let's actually open up both of these. Let's see if we can just pull something out of both of them. Yeah. Hey, another Blue Eyes White Dragon. I actually pulled one of these before. This is one of the better ones. I think it's like $20, $25. Invasion of Chaos. And saying, hope we can pull some Chaos Monsters and a Cybernetic Garage. And ironically, not a bad set. It has a lot of dangerous stuff that still sees play. So let's actually get into these. Really cool. I haven't done a spend money at Walmart video in a while. So let's see if we can pull anything just absolutely fire. We got Hand Samurai. -er. I think I said that right. Agent of Armageddon. We got a Crusadia Power. Dragoni Kus, and we got a Dragoni Synapis. Okay, with a cross speed rare. All right, not bad. Definitely not bad. I mean, that's not, it's one of the sets that you don't really care if you pull anything that good. You have some good cards in it, though. It's not, not the best, mostly dangerous stuff. But let's see if we can pull anything out of here. Flames of Destruction, let's go. Can we pull, what's it, Ghost Spell in here? I think it's Ghost Spell, Spiritual Controls. And we got Element Saber, La Pula Mana. All right, so no Ghost Spell Vendra's in here. Pretty cool uh, artwork, actually. All right, let's save these for last. Yeah, let's actually save these for last. So let's actually go into some Darkwing Blasts. But first, let's actually go into the one pack of Super Hyper no. I don't know why I was just one pack in there. Really weird, really weird. But hopefully it has some nice, insane one pack of magic. Let's get that thrust, which is a weird name to call a card, but you know, whatever, I'm not Konami. All right, got land flipping. We got Photon Emperor and it's a uh, Synchro. Hey, we got Gold Prize Star Leon, one pack magic. I'll take that. It's probably not that much. I think it's like some cents, but still. We pulled an Ultra Rare, so that's actually pretty cool. All right, Dark Moon Blast time. Still some good hitters in here. More Cash Tira stuff, like, you know, the debut of Cash Tira stuff. We can't even pull anything fire, though. We got Entertainment. We got Secret Arts. We got Golgonda. And a Cash Tira Birth. Definitely not bad. Super rare that actually sees play. Probably not over a dollar though, but definitely not bad. Let's go. Let me play thing fire. See if we can actually plus off $125. It's actually crazy. Like the Magnificent Mavens are a lot, and even online, they're even more. So yeah, there's not you're not really gonna find them cheaper anywhere. It's pretty crazy. Mirrorlogic Aggregator. The Mirrorlogic, it's got like, what, two, three cards in the archetype? It's kind of weird. I thought it was really weird that they made that. It was like, nothing happened to it. I thought they were gonna bring some more support out. But then I think only have like two or three cards for the archetype. Pretty weird. Sports, Entrainment, Ogre, not bad. And a Double Cross. Double Cross does see play, but I mean, after Toad, not Toad, it wasn't Toad that got banned. It was um, Ronan Toadin got banned. So some people really stopped playing the Toadin with it. So yeah. <laughs> Double Cross is still really good though. So I see it. We got Spirit, War Chief. We got Ogre. 
We got dancing leaves and we got a willow I was gonna say follower. Willow founder. It's one of them rank sixes. Alright, go on. Get some. Ultra Red Fenrir. That's pretty much what we're looking for, honestly. Alright, we got Spiritualist. We got the Dusk. Oganda. We got Twin Saw and. Ooh, we got an Ultra Rare. Let's go. The Draco Slayer. We got the Majesty Pegasus Draco Slayer. Let's go. We got an Ultra Rare. I'll definitely take that because you're not guaranteed Ultra Rares. Or anything for that matter. And Blisters. So that's why I love Open Blisters. They're so fun. Probably uh, better off buying a booster box, but you know, whatever. We got the, the Dusk Catalyzer. We got the Full Bloom and an XZ. Another, another Mealard Aggregator. I guess I got mad because I kept, you know, saying that. that is barely an archetype right now. All right, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Let's go. All right, we got Heartbeat, Iron Digger, Cosmos. We got Rot GT19 and. Uh, Terrors of the Undercity, or Hidden City. Terrors in the Hidden City. Okay, so let's actually get in some Maven's deck. This is actually my first time opening Maven's, I know. I should have been and got this set, but I'm glad that I still see it in source. Appaloosa, first pack, jeez, this year. I see why this is a lot, this is an insane set. You get an Appaloosa just in the first card, that's crazy. You're getting a uh, Aileron, I wonder if that sees play. We got a Soul Sweeper. Jeez, and they got King King Long. Yeah, King. I, I don't. I'm just gonna say Long Lauren. I'm just gonna say Anna Taya. That's a crazy pack. A lot of good reprints in there. Jeez, that's crazy. No wonder it's a lot. <laughs> like just good reprint. Like almost every card was actually good. Like Sword Soul is probably really cheap right now. And you got Lightning Storm. Just a Lightning Storm in here. I, I've been missing out, huh? Gravekeeper Trap. A legendary ocean. I don't like that that's in there because that destroys my deck. A dark soul token is pretty cool. And uh, Elder MC Incense. That's actually a good reprint. Jeez. No one is set for 25 just for a buy. I think it's like four packs a box. Crazy. A triple tactics talent. That's insane. Crazy. Sky Striker Ace token. And we got a Predator Plant. Uh, so Sovereign Changing. And a Mizuki. Not bad. Uh, graveyard decks really aren't good still. So I see it went from tier elements destroying like graveyard decks and stuff to the cash tier. Skill drains in here. Sheesh. Crazy. We got the Mayakashi's in here. Source Assessment. We got Chunjun. I don't know why they got reprinted. And Multi Roll. A lot of good cards in here. This is a really, really nice reprint set. Sheesh. Crazy. Just a bunch of good cards. Uh, Abyss Dragon. It's not bad. Pretty cool. Got Great Keeper Trap, Sword Soul Strife, Sword Soul Sacred Summon, and uh, G Golem Token. I did not know G Golem Token were in here, but I guess they had to be in somewhere. G Golems. Yeah, interesting archetype, I would say. Got number 93. Oh, I gotta see. I think there's a secret rarity for this one. I gotta find it because I need it for my binder. We got an Ancient Center Agito. Okay, not bad. Theon Bowl. We got Mikashi Return, and. A vampire curse. That's actually cute that they reprinted. All right, a couple more packs. Pull anything fire. You get one of them pharaoh raiders. That's what uh, also makes the set pretty good. Liam Eyes Respect is pretty good. We got a Kelbeck. Pretty cool. Oops, I want to mess it up. <laughs> View Channel of Princess. I don't play this in my fish deck, but it's really cool that they got reprinted. I think I only have one reprint. It was a rare, and it was like ten dollars. So that's insane. We got a Nightmare Phoenix, that's a good reprint. I think Genesis Impact had that as a super rare. Or it might have been in Flames of Destruction first, and then it went to Genesis Impact, pretty sure. All right, we got Ice Dragon's Prison, that's actually insane. We got a Witchcrafter. We got Non-Fusion Area. A Hero Lives, and a Witchcrafter's Genin. That's actually, yeah, this is an insane set overall. That's crazy. But last two packs, can we pull anything fire? Last pack magic, let's go. Come on. And pull us just the hollow. I really just want to see a hollow. If we pull something insane, that'd be crazy. Well, let's just pull us a hollow. Let's go. We got a Jama Yellow, Zero Gravity, Witch Doctor of Chaos, and come on, let's get something. So the trap. Ah, just a be gone knave. Alright, with that Robin Zombie. Okay. But we got a ghost rare. Let's go. Dimension of Chaos. Let's go. Subscribe to the channel, guys. We're gonna be doing a lot more fun stuff like this. Can we end it on one pack magic? Can we get a ghost rare? A Dimension of Chaos. We got Soul Claw. We got Rush Headlong. We got Wild Vulture. Oh! 
I was like, yo, wait, is it? No, oh, my guys, that's scary, but we did get a super rare Gradle Dragon, so we did end on a hollow, so that's insane, because you're not guaranteed hollows in that set, so let's go. That was insane. I appreciate you guys watching. This is Creed, and I'm out.